This tutorial is the first in a two-part series that looks at how to integrate BizTalk with InfoPath, say, as a front end. So for this first part, what we're looking at is, in this example, how to publish an orchestration as a web service. We have a very basic orchestration here, an incoming schema that's got a, a few transactions, they like financial transactions, their amount, date, description, and the outgoing schema is going to summarize those transactions into number of withdrawals, number of deposits, <coughs> via this lovely map. So the orchestration itself, receiving the document, transforming it, sending it back out. Obviously it could be much more complicated. I could also do this with a message routing system, obviously, but we just want to focus on what we need to do in order to publish the orchestration as a web service. So first I select the operation of the logical receive port. And over in the orchestration view, that then gives me the associated port type. And it's the type modifier of the port type that I want to change from the default of internal to public. This is what will expose it as an entry point essentially for the web service. That operation one will become a web method of the web service that I'm going to generate. So at that point, happy with my orchestration, I'm going to build and deploy it as I would normally. And then I'm going to start up the BizTalk Web Services Publishing Wizard. If I had Wizzy installed, I would also have a Wizzy Publishing Wizard. I'm going to use this basic one for here. Choose to publish as an orchestration. Default location of the DLL should be fine. Next page is where I'm going to see that public port. So if I had multiple receive ports whose ports types I had made public, I would see them all listed here. In this case, I only have the one. Then on the next screen, I'm going to type in a namespace for my web service. So it has nothing to do with you know DNS or where the web service is going to be published. It's only going to be determining sort of a unique identity for that web service. So HTTP, and we'll put in a favorite, something like windchimers.com and click next. This will give us the name of the web service that's going to be created. Now one of the tricks since I'm publishing directly to my BizTalk server, and I don't necessarily have to, but I am here, is on this particular BizTalk server I have Bass installed and that means I also have Windows SharePoint services installed. And Windows SharePoint services doesn't like to share with any other websites. So I need to exclude this path from Windows SharePoint Services Control. So within its administration console, I go to defining the virtual server, then uh, manage paths, and I'm going to put in that path and say exclude, and I'm done. Go back to my wizard and I'm going to allow anonymous access and make sure that the receive port location is actually created pointing to the web service and it's going to be part of an app that I've already created through the administration console. And that's about it. So now I have my web service published and if I go over to my uh, administration console I can see the orchestration and it'll just be a matter of binding my orchestration as I would normally. In this case, the send port I had to create manually, but the receive location or receive port was created for me automatically as part of walking through that wizard. And we'll see its friendly name that was automatically generated for us as we go through this step of the configuration. So once all my bindings are done, I can go through and start the orchestration, all the related ports, and I'll be ready to consume with InfoPath.